It has been a while since I have heard only silence and I enjoy it greatly. I think for some reason, I do not feel altogether welcome in this new world in which I have arrived. But how could I be unwelcome in an age with no inhabitants? It is, of course, only in my head. This world is very beautiful. But I think I have yet to ever write in a journal that an age I have linked to is horrid or disgusting. From the grassy hill where I am standing, I can see green fields below along with a few scattered forests. A rather large lake looms some distance from where I am standing, yet the water's hue can be seen plainly from here. The air is fresh, and the sky is sparkled with white clouds. It is absolutely breathtaking, and yet, that strange feeling again. Perhaps it is the hot breeze that continues to blow from the north. Hotter than I would have imagined, it almost singes my skin, and I feel quite uncomfortable when it comes. I will try to ignore it. Night has almost arrived, and the sunset is spectacular. Oranges and reds have settled above the western horizon. Though night has come, the horizon still glows red long past the sunset. Dark reds flow from the horizon and blend into the black sky. Again, the feeling, and I am beginning to believe it is not all in my mind. I must sleep now, I will need my strength to explore more tomorrow. I have had to return home due to an unpredictable natural occurrence more frightening than I have ever experienced. I was awakened by terrible shakings in the ground and explosions on all sides of me. Gigantic balls of fire were falling from the sky, and I immediately left in fear of my life. I must remember to bring a mist linking book with me when I return, in case the one left there has been destroyed or damaged. I have returned to a different world than the one I left only three months ago. It has been transformed into a barren, desert land, with only gigantic craters scattered across the land to provide variety. Strangely enough, the small grassy hill where I spent my first night remains exactly the way I found it. Apparently, the falling meteors did not hit this area, leaving an oasis in the midst of this horrible desolation. The hot wind I remember has turned into a rather pleasant breeze, which is at least one improvement. I fear it is the only improvement. The magnificent lake I saw on my first visit is now completely dried up. However, another lake now exists and appears to be quite a bit larger. I assume one of the falling meteors created this lake due to its circular shape and the jutting rock that grows out of the center of the lake. The rest of this world seems like desert, although I will verify that statement with closer inspection. Though this world has little visual excitement to offer, it offers much to the ears. Sounds constantly flow through my ears, and I have found where a few of them originate. It seems, as Catherine says, I do find beauty in everything. Last night I was awakened by a horrible hissing. I was sweating, and the heat was so intense that I immediately dipped my head in a nearby stream to cool it down. The hot breezes had returned, along with a low roar from the ground. I walked a short distance to observe some red flames shooting up from the earth. Suddenly the ground began to crack, and a huge chasm opened. The chasm continued to grow until it was far too wide to cross. Then the tumult subsided leaving only a dull roar. I have decided, however, I can use the chasm to my advantage. Perhaps the heat from the chasm can be harnessed. Even as the chasm has ripped into the surface of this world, it has opened up a whole new world to explore. Although uncomfortably hot, I found it possible to reach a cave in the chasm that had been created and have now explored deep into the crust of this planet. I have found a vast underground cave system that will take many years to map and explore. I will also look for a safer way to reach the underground than through the chasm wall. This age seems to change on its own, so I feel I should leave again and see if things are different when I return. It is also important that I check on Cirrus and Achinar and make sure everything is going along well. When I return, I also hope to bring back some tools I will need for my plans to explore the underground. The abundance of raw materials here is beginning to amaze me. I have returned with some of the complex tools I knew I would be needing. I assumed I would have to return for more basic materials, however, it seems as though we'll be able to find everything I need here. Of course, 
Iron is abundant, but I have also found titanium occurring naturally. I am all the more excited to begin work. Everything is set and I look forward to tomorrow. My raw materials are all here, I think I will be able to have most of my additions to this age completed within one year. I so love working with my hands, whether writing or building. I began today on the... The magnetic idea will work well, and I have decided to... 3 meters is not enough support for the beams although. Amazingly strong. has to be one of my most prized inventions. I am extremely could never have imagined it to come together quite as I doubt could possibly work with 14 instead of 8. Completely fatigued I am so happy to have completed tomorrow. I am leaving today in order to bring back Cirrus and Achinar. I have left them alone in Channelwood. I believe they will enjoy all there is to see here. The age seems to have stabilized. I believe the meteors set off a period of volcanic activity by piercing into the shallow crust. But the tremors have become few. I have just noticed that a large amount of this journal has curiously vanished from the very pages on which I wrote over the last 18 months. Fortunately, I have copied many of my construction notes in another journal. I do not understand the many mysteries of this world, but I trust one will discover logical answers to my questions. I have a feeling that many of my questions can be answered in another age to which I hope to travel soon. But for now. I must simply accept this world's mysteries and take pride in my accomplishments.